And a man is, I assume, Mega Man X6. That was a weird way to end the intro. But yes, anyways, we're gonna dive right on in to Mega Man X6, a game that I have some issues with, but you'll see in due time. So yes, as you can hear, there is actual voiceover this time around, but it's not dubbed over. This was removed in the original X collection on the PS2, and they re-added it back for the Legacy collection. Biggest issue is it's still not dubbed, so I'm gonna read all these lines out in their full glory. You'll see why when I start reading them, if I don't start laughing. What happened? I heard they avoided the collision. But they might as well have failed. And for this, we should be thankful. This is not all. Something else is going to happen. I feel uneasy. What is this? Hmm? This is... Debris? But what from? Was there any violent battle here? I wonder how many people and Reploids were sacrificed. Um, wait. Th this is... One week later. <laughs> it's finally done! I'm going mad, and it is so liberating. No, the plan has only just begun. I'm going to bring all low-grade Reploids into submission. Those too simple to understand my work. I'll build an ideal world only for Reploids. A wonderful world where I control everything. X. I, 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 X. Wake up, X. Now you're the only one. There is no one else is left to fight. Get up now, X. 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 A giant maverick is acting up. Wake up. I'll send the detailed info later. You rush to the scene. Yeah, we're already getting one little tidbit of bad translations going on. That was great. Most of the Melanchanoloids became Mavericks. It's been a long time. Stay alert, X. Hasn't really been that long of a time. It's only been three weeks, even though the ending for X5 said three years. But technically it's four weeks now, unless the gate scene happened. Two weeks and then three weeks, but eh. I'll be fine since I have the armor and saber. Since I fixed the Falcon armor very quickly, the dash function is incomplete. All right. Anyway, I will stop them in the cannoloids. Okay, go to the entrance of the ruins ahead. She didn't fix them. She did not fix the armor in the slightest. As it was said by Mega Man X5, pretty much all the stuff that's going on with X and Zero is like barely to anyone's understanding. So I really doubt she really fixed it, honestly. But yes, that pretty much, we have the Falcon armor from X5, which as you can tell, it does not have the floating function, which basically allowed you to move all over the place. So all I can really do is just air dash now. Which is a little bit of a bother. But yes, X did mention he had a saber. At the end of X5, he actually got zero saber. So we can use it to slice things. <laughs> Which is, um, you're gonna discover very broken very soon. But yes. I hit the wrong button. It is R3 in the collection. It's not select. It's so weird. If the buster fails, use the Z saber. Yes. It is the time to ask for zero's power. Sure, I'm gonna read out all those as I come across them because they are so bad. But yes, as you can tell, I cannot use X Buster here. I had to use the Z Saber, which is fun. But as you can see, X is not very skilled with it. He has to swing very slowly. Unless you dash. If you dash, you can swing very, very quickly. So, yeah. <laughs> just kinda just do that and you're fine. Which is hilarious, but also, this kind of rings true with walls. See how I'm just jumping up this wall? If I use a Z-Saber as I'm climbing a wall here... Yep. <laughs> you kind of just go up the wall really quickly. This thing is busted in so many ways, to a point where an X challenge, they had to fix it. Which is kind of funny to me. 
They kind of made it so it wasn't very, very broken. I mean, enemies still have, like, invincibility frames and stuff to it, so you can't, like, use it all willy-nilly. But as you can see in the background there, I mean, this probably wouldn't be able to be seen on a, uh... CRT TV. See how, like, that, like, you could just see the squares? Yeah, this game was rushed. This game had, like... About a year of development, maybe? Or give or take? I mean, we got it five days after Japan did. So that kind of shows you that the localization was not really put too much effort into. Which is fun. <laughs> which is going to be funny for me. But yeah, this game was kind of rushed and had no direction by Inufune whatsoever. Which X5 didn't either. You just like, just fan the series, guys. But when it comes to X6, he had nothing to do with it. That's why this game is just so out there and weird. There you are. Are you all right? Beyond here is a giant mechanoloid. It's suddenly activated due to a radio wave problem. We are afraid and we got hurt. I'll take care of this. Return to the hunter base now. All right. It acts like it's possessed. Be careful. At least return to the hunter base kind of works better than half the times where they said the base in X5. So I'll give this game a little bit of credit. Not too much though. Okie dokie, so the first boss of this game, you can kind of just whack it with a fully charged shot. You can't do anything else otherwise. If you go under it, it will attempt to slam on you. So you can sit there and do that, or you can use this weakness, which is the Z Saber, on the thing that is actually providing it a radio wave signal. Which makes sense. So you just go over there, slash it, and it falls down. And then when it goes to get back up, it actually loses a lot of health. And, ow. <laughs> it actually got me with that. That's fine. All right, I'll wait for it. Can I get hit by a bit by walking into it? No, I cannot. At least this game was thoughtful with that regard there. Anyways, it's busted already. That was really quick. And for some reason, award me to the other side of the screen. But we see a mysterious purple reflection of zero. Z zero? All they had to do was just keep me on this side of the screen so I wouldn't have to run to the other side of the screen. But that's fine. I knew Zero was doing this. Who are you? Hi, Max, I am called. Okay, pompous, arrogant, jerk, immediately, that makes sense. Unless that's a best translation, <laughs> but who knows. I'm investigating the Zero Nightmare. What, did you say the Zero Nightmare? What are you trying to do? What is your connection to the Zero Nightmare? What about Zero? You are behind this. You are dangerous. I'll dispose of you. As you can tell, we can't do anything to Hymax. And also, as you can tell, he doesn't go fully off screen. We cannot do anything to him whatsoever. So it's actually in our best interest to just pull a vial for Mega Man X1 here and just kind of jump into him. Maverick Hunter, not amazing. We will destroy the Zero Nightmare. You are not wanted here, keep out. I could not inflict any damage on him. Hi, Max, the Zero Nightmare? Hmm, did I dream about Zero? What is happening? And yes, here is our results screen compared to X5. The result screen shows our clear time, how many Mavericks we defeated, the damage received, so on and so forth. And a thing called Souls. We will go into this in the next stage. Right now, it means nothing to me. And then our Hunter rank, which is D. I will also go into this later because right now it means nothing to me. All right, so I'm going to save. Since we beat the first stage, I will do slot one. This is fine. But yeah, let me go back to... Will it go back to the save screen if I hit no? I don't know, I'm just gonna hit yes. I'll, I'll look at it on the next time I save. Attention all reploids on Earth. As you all know, these are chaotic, disturbing times. I'm pretty sure I could disable the voices in the options menu. I forgot about that. I think there's an option for that, but it's fine. 
It's just background noise to me at this point. The nightmare is upon us. It shows reploids a kind of dream for human beings. No, it's a nightmare, this time not in capitals. The nightmare makes reploids confused. In the worst case, they may malfunction or delete themselves. Due to the space colony incident, I'm actually trying to read the text on like the blue thing there. It looks like it says stop press. <laughs> huh. There are few reploids or humans are left on Earth. What? There are few reploids or humans are left on the Earth. Okay. <laughs> I had trouble reading that one. We won't accept sacrifice anymore. This would bring us to the Earth crisis. Taking the matter seriously, we have sent investigators to the eight suspected areas to uncover the mystery of this nightmare phenomena. It's said that the nightmare phenomena are caused by a ghost of Zero, known as an Ace Maverick Hunter. Which, by the way, he said that in the earlier previous voiceover clip, so this is technically a mistranslation of what was just said, but you know. <laughs> What? What are you talking about? Wait, X. Let him finish this story. Ugh. Now, I like to call on volunteers. Unite with us and help our cause. Work for these eight investigators. Our goal is to wipe out the nightmare. And to delete the Zero's ghost. Come together for our future. This high max will lead the mission. We guarantee your safety if you join us. Both Maverick Hunters and Reploids now suffer. Let's preserve our future together. We're waiting for you, everyone. How dare! He talks about Zero that way? Zero gave his life to save us! It can't be helped now. Actually, we saw the Nightmare 2, shaped as Zero. So, we also need to investigate what the Nightmare is. For now, leave Isaac and Hymax alone. I wonder what are those suspected areas he mentioned. Can you find out, Elia? No. Due to a strong jamming. I can't look into it from here. So... I've got to go in there blind. Maybe I'll be able to feel the nightmare directly. Uh, we're dealing with feeling evil again. Besides, I'm suspicious of the investigators. I mean, there are eight of them, and we know this trend by now. The nightmare. The mission is risky. But we must minimize the damage by uncovering and defeating it. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That line's a little weird. As Azak said, we cannot allow any more reploids to be lost. X, return to the hunter base now. That's like weird double spacing. <laughs> Roger, I'll be back right away. We are now beginning our mission to check the eight areas that Isaac has sent investigators to investigate the nightmare phenomena. But considering the situations of the Maverick Hunters, you are the only hunter who could accomplish these difficult missions. As we've lost Zero, you are our only hope. Can you do it, X? I'll do it. I've just obtained the report on the nightmare areas and the investigators sent to the areas. However, the details of the situations in the areas are still unknown. Due to bad radar transmission. Also, in case any changes occur in the nightmare area, I'll show you by a red signal. It is difficult to predict what the changes are, though. That's okay. I'll know when I get there. Oh, we'll discover what the nightmares are and what Isaac's intentions are. Don't push yourself too hard, X. Remember, you are our only hope. Roger. Um, X. What is it, Alia? Um, nothing. Just be careful. Some Reploids may accept what Isaac says is true and come to the nightmare areas. If you find them, secure them and then send them to the hunter base. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> The Reploids you have rescued can be surveyed here by pressing the R button. And if you attain any items, hi Douglas, you just suddenly exist so, somehow. Process them into parts you can use, you can equip the parts with the L button. Good luck, X. Yes, this screen is the dread of this entire game. There are 16 Reploids in 
every single area. Every single one of these. She also mentioned that these faces will turn red if anything were to happen in these areas where some unexplained phenomena is happening. We don't really have an idea what that is just yet since we just started. But yeah, I have a plan. I don't have a plan. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in and discover what's going on for myself. I'm just gonna start off by clicking the Amazon area here. And I can go in as either Falcon or X, which Falcon Armor X. Don't use X, just just don't. This game is not play tested at all using normal X. There's like very, very few situations where using normal X is even remotely useful. It's like Falcon Armor X just didn't exist at first or something and then they inserted it in later because they thought the game was too hard or something. I don't know, but yeah. Only use standard X if you want a challenge. And yes, this game shows an exclamation point in the bottom right every single time you enter a stage. Alia is not a constant in this compared to X5, so if you want to talk to her, you click in the select if you're playing on anything else, or the right analog stick for every Legacy Collection version. This is the Amazon area. I can't understand the situation there from the Hunter base. I wonder if the nightmare caused this jamming. I don't know, but we're actually going to discover... Uh, hello. It appears to be a transport mechanoloid. It has a loading space on its back. Yeah, that, those snail things would actually allow you to just stand on it. They're broken. I won't tell you why just yet, but they're broken. <laughs> but yes, here is an injured reploid. We can't kill them or anything like that, but there are things that can. And this is where it's going to be very, very stressful in order to do anything in this game. So I am going to go as quick as possible to grab all these things as fast as I can, because I never know when they might die. And if they die, it's not gonna be fun. And just find this armor capsule right to the right here, very obvious. X, I wonder when peace will return. I wanted you to live in peace in, an, in a warless era. But we must put an end to this nightmare. Forgive me, all I can do is give you this armor. However, for security reason, the armor won't work until the four programs combined. Yep, we're dealing with this again. We can't use the armor pieces immediately due to the fact that there are two armors. If there was just one armor, we would have been able to use it, no problem. Collect four programs to complete the armor. Now, I will install a foot program of the blade armor. This program will enhance your dash performance and enable you to perform the mock dash. You can dash while jumping and you'll be invincible in the beginning for the earth, for the future. Good luck. It would've been nice if it at least demonstrated what these things did, even if you don't have the armor piece. Because not having the demonstration in the beginning is a really big hassle and just annoying. Excuse me? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I'll just do this. There we go. But yes, we're gonna be dealing with a lot of just annoyances. These things right here, hello. Ilya, I got an unusual data signal. It's looking right at me, and it's just like sitting there not moving because I'm talking. It must be the nightmare. Stay alert. Yeah, I'm going to stay alert, no problem, by killing it. And they drop these things. As you saw, it was shrinking there. When it's at its max capacity, it'll give you eight. But since it shrank down, it gave me four. You would want to get them as soon as possible because if they shrink all the way down, they will reform. And then after that, they won't drop anything which is a big hassle. Very, very big hassle. And let's grab this. And unfortunately, right over here, there's another one with an E-Tank, but we can't reach it in the slightest. And there's no way I can actually reach it myself. So that one's staying there and I can't do anything. I'm gonna grab that, grab you. We want those things dead all the time because those are the things that can actually kill the Reploids. And we don't want them to do that. So kill them when you see them. Make sure that they don't kill anything in the process. Let's go down here. Since I can't reach that upper path. Get rid of you as soon as possible or I'll just do that. That works too. Go down this fake hole here. Grab these. Kill you. And grab this. As you can tell, every time I... Uh, uh, not kill. Whenever I grab one of the Reploids, 
I get a life. It's the same thing as in X5, the only difference is, is that the injured Reploids actually give you things too. And I'll go into that later. The transport mechanoloid can stand on a spiny trap. You can use it, X. Try to ride on it. Yes. So we can do this, and if we want to get under certain obstacles, which in this case is not really needed here, you can duck still using the X5 method. Which this game does not tell you at all anywhere, which is annoying. And now the biggest worst annoyance of X6. This is a giant leap of faith. I have no idea where I'm going. The only place I can go is here and just be like, uh-oh, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? I gotta do this and avoid all those spikes there. That is really bad design. And there's no way you can get around it. This area here is actually the easiest part of this level. <laughs> just go around doing all these things. Grab this, make sure to avoid that. Get hit by that because I'm an idiot. Get hit by it again because I'm still an idiot. Go up here because all the way back here, there is an extra one right over behind this dude here. So do this, he's gonna reform. And you see something in the corner there? We're not supposed to see that. That's something that a CRT TV would block due to overscan. But since we're playing it as on Legacy Collection, whoops. <laughs> Go around here, grab this, and... Okay, that lingered a lot longer than I thought I was going to. And we're done. This stage in a nutshell. I got a strong data signal. It should be from an investigator. The investigator here is Commander Yamark. To be on the safe side, be sure to set up the weapon. Yeah, I'm already doing that. Constantly. Alright, I'll do it. Yes, uh, as you can tell, the Maverick names are directly translated. In this case, if they wanted to translate it better, it probably would be like Commander Dragonfly or something like that. You're the Nightmare Investigator, Commander Yamark? Yes, I'm in charge of the Amazon area. Tell me, what is Zero up to? You must know something. Zero has nothing to do with this! Stop accusing him! I won't trust both the Maverick Hunter and Preploid Researcher. Excuse me? <laughs> How do you know that Alia is... Uh, whatever. I don't know what you're thinking. I won't end up being betrayed and deleted. I will delete you first. Unless he just knows beforehand. But that is a backstory that all these Mavericks have, are the investigators. So yes, this boss is really ridiculously simple. He's gonna just kind of sit there all the time. And he'll never get off any of his stuff. Because the Z-Saber is just that good. And when you defeat a boss, it actually drops a green little jewel. There you go. So you see how my hunter rank went up? It's because I obtained souls. They are considered nightmare souls. Whenever you beat a boss, you get 200 of them, I believe. And whenever you defeat the nightmares, you get eight and they shrink down four and so on. It's it's weird like that, but when you get more souls, your rank goes up and then more stuff will unlock for you. You found a mysterious item. It's related to the nightmare. Let's call it the nightmare soul. Collect the souls and increase ranking. As your hunter rank increases, you'll be able to equip parts. Thank you, game, for explaining this for me. I was just about to. The higher your ranking, the more you can equip parts. When you achieve the GA rank, or GA rank, you will be able to equip the limited parts. Unlike the other parts, the limited parts can be equipped at the weapon select screen. Don't forget that you can use it one time only. This is a mistranslation. You can use it once per stage. You got the YAMR option. Dragonflies help you on offense and defense. That's a great description. And here is all the rep boys that we rescued. As you can tell, they are dropping things like life ups and weapon ups. And they also have very weird names, but they also drop parts.
There we go. I got life up, energy up, super recover, and the rapid S. As you can tell, is abbreviation for rapid shot. And I also got the leg part for the blade. Commander Yamark, an ex investigator in the Amazon area. He was a replay created for the Nature Preservation Project. He burnt the forest by control disorder. Excuse me? <laughs> he wasn't accused of the incident, but someone altered Yamark's flying system. He crashed and died. He was created by my colleague, Kate. Yeah, so he died, which means that he was resurrected by somebody in order to come back. But the only person that we know about at the moment is Aizan, who has sent out the investigator. But if he died beforehand, that's it's a little weird and a little suspect. Oh, did it say it? Did it say it? No, it actually says save cancel. Yes, now saving. It, I, I think they got rid of it. Maybe, I'm not sure. In the original, there it says, would you care to overwrite date? Oh, wait, that's because I saved on a new slot. Never mind. I'll have to show it later then. I have a report. An investigator was already destroyed by that Maverick Hunter. I know. It's shameful that they can't beat that mysterious old robot. Isaac, keep an eye on that hunter for a while. Yes, sir. Oh, how is the experiment going? Everything is going great and the effect is brilliant. We achieved 99.98% uh, success rate by now. This is an amazing invention. But if you use HiMax in just minutes, you can control all Reploids on Earth. Even the Maverick Hunter was no match. No, continue the experiment for now. I want you to keep gathering data. Yes, sir. By the way, have you found what you're looking for? I guess it doesn't exist in this world. Oh, no, it does. I've seen him. Besides, he isn't just some low reploid that would die in such a trivial battle. I'll admit he's as persistent as X. Alive or not, there are many options. I'll find out for sure. <laughs> hmm, it doesn't matter to me. You are on your own. I don't need the body of Zero. Anyway, just do the work and keep an eye on X. Yes, sir. So yes, we have one Maverick down and we have a couple red spots now appearing. This is fun times, but we're actually not going to go to either of these red spots just yet. I will detail them later on, but not now. But for now, next time in Azure Plays, more Megman X6. We'll dive into where the next investigator is. I'll see you all then.